we have finally made it to the MVP Open at Maple Hill. We're in Massachusetts on an extremely rainy day. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're the two hockeys. Honk. Honk. <laughs> this is the last Pro Tour event of the year. It's the second of two qualifiers after the GMC. And next time you'll see us at a Pro Tour event, it's at the Disc Golf Pro Tour Championship in Charlotte, North Carolina. There's a lot to talk about. You're not going to see the sun. There's multiple weather delays. <laughs> um, this is a four day event instead of a three day event. There's I guess that's it. Is that there all was we have supposed to, talk about? to be a cut after round three, but there will not be any more because of today's weather delays. Gosh, just look how nice this drone footage is. <laughs> this is not what it looked like today in real life. Hole one's a par four. You got to throw over the water or some people choose to bail out left. Um, and then it narrows down, you see, into this little kind of keyhole shape. Uh, the walls here are out of bounds. And then this little asset wall is out of bounds the whole way as well. So it gets super narrow and tight. If you have a huge arm and can throw over the water, you can definitely birdie it, but it's tough. Yeah, they, they were scheduled for 935 and now we are playing at, what, what time is it? Like around one -ish? Mm, this yeah. was closer to 11 30 or yeah. noon it something was, like that. We, I don't know. We, we all lost track of time because of how long the so, delay was. well they missed the first delay mm -hmm. but we will have a second one mm -hmm. okay so hokum has won this event in 2011 and 2018 she's podiumed here seven times what a great shot Katrina won this event in 2012 and 2021. Yeah, last year mm -hmm. she won the only competitor under par. Again, it was a three-day tournament last year. I think this is its first time as a four-day. I think she has never Whoa. finished outside of eighth at this event ever. That's overturned, but got a nice kick and should be fine. Second event in a row that Henna has never played before. She made a huge push at Green Mountain Championship last week. Um, go watch that if you haven't seen it. Yeah, fresh off a really awesome finish at the World Championships as well. So we're going to see Henna bite some huge distance off here. Um, it's really important, but still that second shot, you really have to come in with a lot of angle. So unless you're high on the left-hand side, it's really difficult. Yeah, most often you end up pitching up even if you get huge distance. Sorry, I kind of spoke over Kristen's intro. I think we could probably call this right now. Kristen Tatar going to win MVP Open. <laughs> <laughs> She's Does on a roll. Does anyone feel safe about this <laughs> call here? She, of course, won last weekend, has been winning everything. She's played this event one time in 2019 and placed second. And that's the actual perfect drive. Great spot. Katrina from high right, probably just pitching to the gap. Still kind of a challenging shot. She has to throw over a bunch of Christmas trees, kind of blind to the gap. Here's some rain getting going. This is a tough shot to get all the way to the green. That looks like potentially a layup. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And kind of perfect. Just stop. Wow. Just stop now. You stop. Mm. There's a little sneaker gap <laughs> over on the right-hand side mm -hmm. of the corner. Sure is. Henna most likely pitching up as well. Even where Kristen in it is is so risky and touchy to go for it. I mean, I'm sure she will and probably birdie it, but it's <laughs> still both of those things. It looks like she's lining it up. That looks like a distance driver or like some sort of faster disc. Mm-hmm. Look yeah, at probably this. a fairway. Just perfect. Oh. Just so good. Wow. Mm -hmm. So this plate is the most difficult hole on the day, averaging at almost a full stroke over par. 59% of the field taking a bogey or worse. And look at Kristen in almost inside the bullseye for yeah, birdie. They're making it look easy. There is like, if you can't clear... Oh, wow, that's pretty good, too. The water in the first shot, and you end up a little bit more in one of those trees. Like, it kind of 
can be a disaster. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of people get aggressive on this shot or something like that happens and you drop OB. I think Hokum does stay safe. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of a grip lock. Disaster happens fast out here. Ooh, it's a good run. Nice par from Henna. Good solid putt to start the round. And Kristen with the only birdie of the day. On oh, hole wow. Uh-huh. To be fair, I guess it has been raining more for everybody else as yeah, well. Yeah, that's true. Everyone that's come through at this point in time on hole one has just gotten pretty drenched. Yeah. They did have there that was only, weird gap. There was only two other competitors that even landed in circle two in regulation. Look how nice it is. It's crazy. Hole two, uphill, 299, plays more like 320. This wall on the right side is out of bounds the entire way. And those trees on the left-hand side aren't out of bounds, but um, you don't really want to get tangled up in there. It can be difficult to get out of. But mostly it's just about making sure you don't flip something over and catch any of the trees or branches on the right-hand side. Also, just one more reminder of GK Pro's 150K giveaway. Check out the description and see how to get in on that action for a mostly expenses paid trip to the Disc Golf Pro Tour Championships. That's a solid shot. Yeah, getting through all the trees. She'll even have a long putt. Very steeply uphill, though. The screen is sloped, so you want to make sure to land flat. Ooh, that's so good. Yeah, really nice Still shot. Still good. Gets caught up a little bit. I can't remember. I kind of think they only got through one hole. Yes, I think this is after the delay. The And this was the more significant delay. Only two cards were affected by the first lightning delay. The second delay was, was more condition-based because it was so slippery. Oh, this is piped from Henna. So they've been wow. sitting around for, how long was it? Like two and, two and, and a half, half hours. hours? Yeah, two hours and 45 minutes maybe. Um, it was... Yeah, they, they did a rain delay for the second delay, like a heavy rain delay yeah, because of unsafe conditions on the course. And tried to, like, clean up and dry off some stuff, so. Oh, sit down. I hope oh. I'm going to be OB, but far enough up there to have a chance to save par. So at this point as well, we have learned that FPO will be playing all four rounds with no cut, and the MPO will just be playing a three-round tournament. So this is new news. A lot has happened today. Everyone has been sitting around for, you know, a couple hours. Yeah. I started warming up at 7.15 and got done playing at 4.30. <laughs> God. <laughs> a lot of people skipped lunch yeah. because we weren't sure about whether we were leaving. So play after this is all about mental fortitude. It's It mm -hmm. was a brutal day. Katrina pretty high on her birdie attempt. Hokum just low on her par save. Even after the heavy rain delay, nice par from Katrina. Um, it still rained on us for another eight holes, yeah. six or eight holes. So Lighter, though. Mm -hmm. Great birdie from Hannah. It's the beauty of a drive. My guess is that rock three she throws all the time. That's faster speed. This plate is one of the top three easiest holes of the day with 25% of the field taking birdies and 50% taking pars. Hole three is a pretty tight gap off the tee. Um, you're actually teeing from out of bounds. If you don't cross, there's a little drop zone. You're kind of throwing uh, a, f a tight flex so you want a little bit of turn on it but then you need it to fade at the end to try to get any kind of a look um really early left is a really bad kick um there is some ob right it's hard to find though yeah it's that same wall that we worked on um navigating on hole two this and there is a gap over here it's not usually intentional but um if you make it it's actually pretty wide open yeah, Hina near, the, near a tee pad for one of the other courses that is on the Maple Hill property. She's in circle two, though. Mm -hmm. This is the intended line from Kristen, and that's beautiful. A yeah. little short, Pretty much, if but you're, great line. If you're in the center and you miss that main guardian tree that we saw Hina go to the right of and Kristen go to the left of, you're you're going to be in business. Happy. Yeah. Yeah. It's Kicking way left is actually something like this. If Okay. Ooh. If that keeps going left, 
that's definitely the worst result. Kicking right, you got a chance mm -hmm. to save par. This one is really tough to get to, though, for birdie. It played as the second diff most difficult hole of the day. That's a tough forehand line, too. I don't even understand how you could get there yeah, with a forehand. I don't think you can. Um, only 16% of the field getting to circle two in regulation, which is only six competitors, and only four getting to circle one in regulation. Katrina dealing with some of these trees. There are gaps over there, but it's usually pretty tough. Poke them a little closer. Chips up. It's a nice Bullseye. ground play. That's her Electron Envy. Envies are great approach discs for anyone looking for some MVP to add to their bag. Kristen just laying up for par. Katrina looking at bogey. Hannah, you know, one of the six competitors getting to circle two for a birdie look. Holland Hanley, Stacy Ronsley, and Raven Klein, all three finding birdie twos. This is a good one. That's a great one to get. Yeah, really tough to get a clean putt on this one. Mm. Hannah missing that putt. This one from just a bit closer. Dang, her first couple putts look great too. Yeah, the discs are wet today and it's another one of those kind of similar to GMC where it was uh, really rainy and humid, but like your hands are cold and your discs are cold. So it was really hard to get a good grip on the disc. I don't know, I had a hard time. Well, let's check in. Only three people under par, Kristen Tatar two down, as well as Paige Pierce and Evelina Solanon. A slew of people at even, which is a great score out here. And yep, yeah, anywhere near par is going to be great. Again, Katrina Allen was the only one to finish under par after three rounds last year. So it, it's a tough course. It's the exact same as last year as well. Hole four is a very steeply downhill par three. It says 246, but a lot of people just throw standstills off the tee pad. There's this dead straight forehand or backhand route that's really narrow. There's a little pitch out hyzer if you stand on the front left of the tee pad. We see thumbers, we see tomahawks. Um, pretty much anything you can to just get down here with a tiny bit of speed, because if you come in too hot, you can very easily find that out of bounds water deep. I like the flip up forehand. I think it's like if you do it right, kind of the cleanest way to get down there. But as long you as do you see just a ton of thumbers, like from the yep. MPO. Mm -hmm. I think as, uh, keeping it low like Hokum did is really good. As long as you just get um, through the main first gap. Yep, it's pretty easy to get your par. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. Kind of trying to drift. And that's coming in. Sit down. Yep, that's, that's good. good. Yeah, the out of bounds is about circle two edge um, behind the basket. Yeah, but there's that asset wall that kind of catches them, as most of she, them. Yeah, as if long it's as you low come enough. in low. Henna early, and that's where it starts to get kind of tough to save par. We'll see if she, yeah, this doesn't look great. Let's see if she can save it. Oh, yeah, great effort. Even better tree kick. Kristen for a total death putt. Yeah, it doesn't quite give it enough height. It'd be pretty easy to skip and ramp into the water if you're not careful on something like this. Oh yeah, this green is a little bit higher up. You can see that little retention wall just behind it. Definitely gives it some height. Ooh. Trina in the ideal situation, putting uphill. Killer putt. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, this is where we see her struggle. I think yeah. you're right. There's conditions, but like, we just, we just this haven't, is just like mentally. We haven't in the last hurt. couple tournaments, so it's like, ugh. Or there's I been, when it comes I back. think there's been hints of it in yeah. the last couple tournaments, but then she overcomes it really well. But we, we haven't seen like two or three in a row like we just saw. So hopefully she can get it dialed.
I knew a win is great, but it's like we always say in putting and the vlogs and stuff, twice or it's luck. So now I did it twice, not luck. Hole five is a par three. The way the drone is flying is one of three routes you could take. You can go out over the water with a forehand. You can take this straight gap, which they did clean out a little bit, so it's very tempting. A lot of people take the safer hyzer route. It's hard to get a birdie look, but if you do it right, it's a pretty easy and stress-free-ish par. Um, I only see a handful of people go out over the water. Yeah, it's a very, very sharp angle. So forehand's really the only way. Backhand turnover doesn't really work. It can. It's just friggin' tough. Yeah. And then there's a pretty punishing drop zone, too, if you miss. Mm -hmm. But I think this is the most common FPO play. Mm -hmm. Just kind of crash into the trees and hope maybe you get a good reaction. The green is so guarded, it's really tough, even if you throw the pure line through the gap the whole way, to get all the way to the green. Ooh, she's doing it? Yes. I wonder... Nice and high. If that's a grace. Oh. Whoa, what happened? Yeah, she, she caught that. She hit a tree left yeah. and it kicked right? Mm -hmm. She's she pretty the lucky to be safe. Yeah. Hope I'm doing it too. That looks pretty solid. Yep, and that is the safe play too, going a little bit Ooh. early. Um... Bail, kind of bailing in short. I mean, but, she was safe by like a couple of feet. Yeah. But I know what you mean. Oh, Hannah doing it too with the backhand? What? We don't see this very often. She may be the only person that does this. Oh, she was left of the main gap. Really wide. But it's turning. Looks like nope. I think if she hit the main gap, that would have been good. So here's the drop zone. It's still at least 150 feet. Well, we know this is Henna's, Henna's specialty here. She loves these backhand turnovers. Go in. <laughs> wow. Yeah, God, pretty shot. so good at them. Mm -hmm. Bread and butter. Kristen from a super weird spot. I think, are these kind of retaining walls new? Or were they yeah, here last year? They were here last year. I don't know if this one was, but all the ones on the last hole were. Yeah, they're, they're here I don't to remember help. this one. Yeah, they're here to help with erosion and also to save the trees because as the banks uh, start to erode, they the trees kind of start to bend. So if we keep it nice and flat, hopefully we get to preserve these big, beautiful trees. Katrina with a great upshot. Bullseye for her par. Kristen, her third from about 40. She's lining it up. Always. So we're finally getting to the eighth hole. They call themselves the eight holes. <laughs> they we, do a slow clap for every single group. We love the eight holes. We had a really nice turnout today, regardless of the conditions. Mm -hmm. Hokum! Wow! What a birdie from a knee. Great putt. Okay, I'm very surprised. There was six birdies today. Yeah, I think more people five. probably went for this than any tournament in the past. We're getting yep. some some power players. I watched Holland some, Hanley do it with a sidearm, and it yep. was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then Ella Hansen, she's got that distance sidearm as well. Jessica Weiss, Natalie Ryan, and Valerie Mandahano. Yeah, Ella went for it with a sidearm, obviously. Hole six is the third most difficult hole of the day. And clocking it at only 315, you're like, how? But then you look at this out of bounds wall all the way down the right hand side. There's water on the left hand side and it is so narrow. This second shot to the green can be tough, even if you do try to play safe and just lay something up to the middle. Um, so it's hard not to want to go aggressive because you're like, why is the second shot so hard? I might as well. And then boom, you're out of bounds. Uh, a lot can go wrong. I love the flex sidearm here, especially if you, if you have good distance. The backhand can be really sketchy. A lot of people just bail out to the left-hand side mm -hmm. and hope they have a putt. Yep. Wow, this is clean, too. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh that's friggin' perfect. <laughs> was... I feel like a lot of sidearms are flexed harder and then take that left side yep. towards the green. That, that was, was so pure. That was one of the best sidearms I've ever seen. Period. Or, or one of the best drives I've ever seen on this hole. Amazing. This is that bailout play Mad was talking about. There is OB over there, but it's a good ways away. She's going to have some little trees to deal with. Yeah, there's a little island of trees between that left bailout zone and the green that can kind of tempt you to want to try to putt through them, but 
you can get knocked down and all of a sudden you find yourself in circle two trying to save your par. Looks like a Claymore from Kristen. Super straight shot, gets to circle two. Is Hannah throwing a putter here? Looks like it. I didn't get disc list today. It's yeah. been too it's, weird of a day. It so. has been way too weird of a These day. These are all guesses. Yeah, that looks like, a. if I had to guess, like an AVR 3 of some sort. I really like that play. She'll even maybe have a putt. And here's Katrina in that island of trees. There's just not... She's oh, like she behind the island, still has to go through the island. Oh, oh. She almost gets it, gets bounced back. Oh, she's way more left than I thought. Mm -hmm. Here, Henna is a little more on the edge going through the little island of trees. And if you're that far, it's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. But you saw Katrina's difficulty. This is to save par. One little, one little guardian tree in that hyzer putt line. Kristen for a birdie. Just short. Hannah cashing that par putt. See if Hokum finally gets a turn coming up. Katrina oh. settling for the bogey, coming in really high. Yeah, it works out though. And Hokum. Not even. One Look of only that. two birdies on the day. The other was Alexis Mandahano. They both landed inside circle one. Alexis had to make a little bit bigger of oh, a wait. putt though. Oh, never mind. There was, I was in circle one. I was the other one. I think she made a circle two putt. Oh, yeah. There was only two people in circle yeah. one in regulation. Weird flex. Hole <laughs> seven is an uphill par three. It's 276 feet. You just want to throw up this road something straight that finishes just a little bit at the end. I think a common mistake is to hyzer a little bit too much. Also, it's it's tight-ish off the tee. If you really try to put a little too much power behind it, you can find one of these early trees and then it's a bit of a disaster. Look, I'm not going to do anything, I said, because she just throws <laughs> all the sidearms. If you just throw more straight than anything, though, you'll get a putt mm -hmm. near the circle just like that. Yeah, you don't have to really hyzer anything um, necessarily. Like, you could just follow the road the whole way. It kind of tempts you into it, I feel like. Mm -hmm. But going left later down the fairway is not bad. Yeah. Like, that'll be fine. Yeah. Circle two. Playing uphill, definitely... Plays at least 300, I think. This looks nice from Henna. Just needs to miss the last couple of trees and pins it. Wow. Drawing metal off the tee. Pretty. This played as the second easiest hole of the day. Yeah, as long as you hit this main gap here. Ooh, I was going to say there's not that much danger. and But you see the out of bounds kind of take a 90 degree turn really early. So it is kind of hard to find. Like Katrina's in bounds. It's just awful. I think that was good out. Yeah, I'm not sure how far. Oh, dang. Still rough. I mean, if she can save bogey, it's going to be really solid. OK, Ooh. she's got a chance. Kristen, not much of a look from over here. Yeah, she was earlier than I thought. Yeah, that's in that same dang spot. <laughs> <laughs> Katrina to save bogey. Yeah. There we go. Wow. Nice circle two putt. Hokum for her third birdie in a row. Yes. Yeah. Dang. Gets under par for the round. Sweet. Kind of absolutely parked. I promise I won't keep guessing they're all rock threes, but I really think that one is. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go back to our normal routine tomorrow, and I'll get this list from everybody. And the eight holes. Yay, hole eight, water carry, 300 feet. It was a little bit windy when we came through today. Um, kind of a right to left cross slash a little bit of a headwind. Um, maybe not raining at this point, but basically you just want to crash into this green. There is out of bounds all along the back to behind that asset wall. And a pretty sketchy drop zone if you're OB. We'll see Hokum go from it. 
It's a putt directly at the water, very steeply downhill from pretty close to 50 feet, I'd say. Mm -hmm. At least 45. Let's see if Henna can get it. Ooh, that's overturned, but has a chance. Maybe, no. There's OB deep back there, weirdly. Guessing Saint Pro. Yeah, Kristen trying to just crash in early. Ooh. And that is perfect. And the eight holes love it. They kind of were a smallish crowd for, you know, their normal mm -hmm. weekend scene, but small but mighty. And that's decent. There's just a couple of trees on this side that she needs to miss. And <laughs> she does with a backboard. For a while, every time they hit the backboard, all the eight holes chanted OTB, OTB. <laughs> That's the drop zone putt. That was a really good effort to stay so close as well. They also, the eight holes brought candy for everybody. <laughs> yeah, bottomless candy bucket. I love them. There's nothing like a mid-round Kit Kat. Nice. This is a, a definitely severe example of one of those birdie or bogey type holes. 28% with a birdie, 58% with a bogey. Only 14% pars. Yeah, usually if you make the island, you're getting the birdie. Mm -hmm. yeah, sweet park job. Man, I love these people. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite. Wrapping up the front nine, hole nine starts off very uphill. You're trying to throw something usually just straight past this stump here and land at the top of the hill. You can get aggressive and try to turn the corner maybe with a sidearm. Um, from here, if you can hit this main gap that the drone is flying through, you see most people try to ap approach the green. It's kind of a baby island. Um, you can see where the bridge is crossing over. All of that is out of bounds. So it can be a pretty sketchy little upshot. It's only 400 feet, which is like absolutely nuts. That's surpri <laughs> so surprising to me. Yeah, I mean, it's one of the it's craziest holes. Two full shots, but. I guess you could get there like mid mid, you know. I, I mean, yeah, you could even go putter putter, you, really. Yeah. I think we. But might. I never really thought about the distance before. Yeah. And so the, the first and second shot are both very demanding too. This is very oh. steeply uphill. We see that happening a lot. Yep. Because really, you only want to clear it by a few inches with the backhand. Yep. I'm not sure where Kristen's went. I mean, she got up the hill, but then might be a little too right. The sidearm is the play for this hole. As long as she doesn't catch any trees, she's going to be set up absolutely perfectly in the middle of the gap. She's in the trees a little. It's fine right there. <laughs> I always land right behind those trees, and it's not great. That's a little early from Henna, Ooh. but not a bad kick. You're right. Like, Hokum's lined up, but she might not have a great look. Katrina from... Really early right, trying to get around the corner a bit. Here, there's a oh, lot pretty. of room. There's a lot of room for you to just kind of throw over the hill before you find any out of bounds. You can see Henna taking a pretty aggressive shot over the hill. And on the edge, she only has maybe 100 feet to go. Kind of surprised Katrina didn't try to throw further because this downhill shot is very tough to get to lay down. You have to make sure you make it over out of bounds and it's really easy to be deep like Katrina is and have a tester putt coming back. Okay, so Hokum is fine, but three feet to the right and you're not fine. <laughs> wow, what a shot. And Hokum keeping it clean out here. Yeah, what a nice little backhand approach laid down so softly. Kristen was a little more tucked and she decides to just lay up on this side of That's the smart. out of bounds. Kind of on the edge, just throwing her little force over shot. Have a bit of a putt left for her par. Kristen for a huge look at birdie. Doesn't even need to jump. Sit down. I think she's safe. Yeah, there's a little uh, kind of peninsula of boggy safe area over there. Yeah, like there's not a line on the flagstones, which I think maybe they had last year. 
Katrina just pitching up, unable to make a putt for her par. Oh, yeah. Little bog. Uh oh. Oh. Kristen might have had that bush in her way. Can't quite see what she's working with. Kind of struggling to get her par as well. Bogey for Kristen. Gets her to even par. Here's hoping for a birdie to get under par again. Mm -hmm. One of only five birdies on the day. Nice. And a bogey for Henna. And we did it. That's the front nine. Lots of red Lots out there. Lots of things that happened. Yeah, and but again, we like we said, keeping it around even par is really, really good at Maple Hill. And hoping getting four birdies on the front is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, everyone else definitely struggling a little, just a little bit just here and there. Bit. It was a rough day though, so I think we're going to see high, the highest scores today out of any of the days. Yeah, I think um, so. I think we're going to see a lot more people under par this year. We can see Valerie Mandahano and Evelina Salonen also coming in under par after nine holes. And Kristen Sitar holding on to that fourth place spot with Cap Merch. We got nine more out here. It starts to clear up a little bit, and I'm not going to lie, even the sun comes out. It's fantastic. Uh-huh. It kind of looks like it does in the flyovers. Hang out with us for nine more holes. Thanks again to our VIP members. There's a million of you, and we appreciate every single one of you so much. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're the two hot geese. Hot huh?